In this video, I'm going to be giving you my complete defensive tutorial for stopping the split close pads offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can possibly become. And so every single day on YouTube, I post offensive and defensive tips that answer your questions, help you perform better and execute at a higher level, and basically just try to help you become the best player that you possibly can be. And so if you want to subscribe to the channel, I would encourage you to do so. It's going to allow you to be able to stay up to date with all of the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in today's video we're talking specifically about a defensive tutorial for split close pass and this is an excerpt meaning the foundation from this defense actually comes out of my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. I believe that the nickel 335 wide defense is the best defense in the entire game and if you were to ask me what defense would I recommend you run in a money game or in a tournament or in a high pressure situation I would 100% recommend the nickel 335 wide. In a post that we posted, um, about 75% of you said that this is the best defense in the entire game. And so if you want to learn exactly how I run the nickel 335 wide defense in depth, I want to encourage you to get my nickel 335 wide defensive guide. It's the best purchase that you're going to make all season long because it will literally teach you everything you need to know about defense. It will teach you run defense. It will teach you pressures. Um, instant sack glitches, it will teach you zone drops, it will teach you match defense, and on and on and on. And so if you want to learn that entire defensive system so that you can start locking people up the way that you want to, I'm going to leave a link to that defensive guide in the description. It is just 15 bucks, and like I said, I think it's one of the best purchases that you will make in the entire Madden season. Now in today's video, like I said, we're specifically talking about the uh, nickel 335 as it pertains to the gun split close pass. So I have some of the best plays from splits, split close loaded up here. And what I'm going to recommend that you go ahead and do in your coaching adjustments is I'm actually going to recommend that you put your flats on 30 yards, your curl flats on 10 yards, and your hook curls on 5. So it's going to look something like this right here. This is kind of the foundation or the starting point. And then as they adjust, obviously you're going to adjust with them. But this is really the foundation for defending this formation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to audible down from 3-3-5 normal into 3-3-5 wide. And the play that we're going to be audibling into is this cover 4 show 2. As you can see, I've put it in my audibles. And that's the play that we're going to start with. And so we're just going to simply audible down into that. And then from there, we are going to make some adjustments. Okay, So the first adjustment that I like to make whenever I'm defending the split close pass is I always like to shift my defensive line to the same side where I believe that they are, they're going to potentially hand the ball off to their running back. So in this example, Aaron Jones, or their number one running back, is on the left side of the formation, so I'm going to shift my defensive line to the left side. If this was flipped, so you'll see here, if it looks something like this, where they have uh, two wide receivers on that, I know from split close and just from knowing it, that the primary run is going to go um, to the twin receiver side, so I want to shift away from that. So I'm going to shift over in this direction. Okay, so that's kind of how you can you know set your front. Now the first or the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm always going to crash my line out and I'm going to blitz my user. The reason why is if they run the ball, I can shoot the gap with my user. Okay, so I want to stand right about here. The next thing that I want to do is I want to take the defensive end that is on the outside. Um, that is on the outside. So as you can see, this defensive end is on the inside. He's not. He's not on the outside. That would be this guy right here. Okay. So in this example, Gary is a defensive end, and he's acting as if he's a defensive tackle. So Darius Smith is a defensive end, and he's acting like a defensive end. So we're gonna bluff blitz him just like this. And what you see is it turns him into a three red hook zone. Okay. So he's gonna be able to match a lot of the angle routes. He's gonna be able to defend a lot of the hitches and little underneath type of routes. The next thing that I like to do. Is I simply am going to put both of my uh, both of my corners on the outside are going to play in cloud flats. What this means is they are going to be playing at 30 yard depth. So they're going to play crossing routes. They're going to play corner routes. They're going to play a lot of those powerful concepts. What they will not play is they will not play something like a vertical route. Like if they run a seam, once they pass 30 yards, then I'm kind of on my own. So that's where my last adjustment is I'm going to man up this linebacker on the outside receiver of, uh, of this formation. Now, if for whatever reason they motion, I want you to just see something really quickly about formation. So if I motion Lazard to the left, you're going to notice 
that he can go all the way out there, right? In a situation like that, by the time he gets, if he's on a vertical route, let me just show you. If it's a situation like that right there, then what I will typically do is I will change that main assignment so that he's manned up on square. And so now what you're gonna see is if both of those guys go vertical, you're gonna have the proper depth. As you can see, the beauty of this defense is it uses quarters principles and we're basically leveraging the hash marks and the, the horizontal spacing of the field to determine how we're gonna play this. So again, the adjustments, we're going to shift our defensive line to the left, we're going to put our defensive end in a three red hook zone. We're going to man up our linebacker onto the circle receiver. If the circle receiver gets motioned to the left side, then typically, like I said, what I'm going to do in that scenario is almost always, if he goes that direction, I'm just instantly going to man him up onto square. And then I've got my two cloud flats, and you're going to see that this literally will take every single thing away. You see the three red hook matches that running back route super, super effectively, and you've now taken away one of the best passing concepts in the entire game. Now you might say, well, what if they run the PA shot play? Well, that's again why we put those corners in those cloud flats. So again, you got your setup here, and what you're going to see is, let's say they run double crossing routes. What you're gonna see is the square receiver is not gonna get open. There's no window to throw it. The sack is going to come. That is why this defense is so effective. If you take a look at the instant replay, what you're going to find is because we put those cloud flats at 30 yards, you're going to see here there's nowhere to throw. I mean, you might be able to throw like right here as a low pass, but look at this corner. He's looking right at it. You've got a guy in this area. Obviously, my user is kind of all over the place here, but my user would have probably more, more than likely been somewhere in this area. So. The beauty of this of this uh, defense is that it is just super, super locked down. It's very effective. It's honestly very simple to run once you get the hang of it. And so I would just encourage you, if you have not used my nickel 335 wide defensive guide, if you are looking to get better at this game on the defensive side of the ball, I just want to encourage you to get that defensive guide. It's not just going to be good for Madden 21. We've been running this defense for almost a year now. Um, it, is, it was very good in Madden 20, and I anticipate that it will be good in Madden 22. So I would just encourage you, if you haven't gotten 335 wide defensive guide yet, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video so that you can get that ebook for just 15 bucks. It has written tutorials as well as video breakdowns and film study to help you get the best bang for your buck when it comes to defense in Madden 21. And so if you want to get better at this game, if you want to get better on the defensive side of the ball, I would encourage you to head down to the description and pick up the 335 wide defensive guide.